Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video, we are going to study about conductance. From Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to I into R. That is, the potential difference across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through the conductor. So V is equal to V proportional to I. That implies V is equal to I into R. The same thing can be represented in a magic triangle like this. In this triangle, V is the potential difference across the conductor, I is the current flowing across the conductor and R is the resistance offered by the conductor. From the Ohm's law, we also know that R directly proportional to the length of the conductor that is resistance across the conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor and resistance offered by the conductor is inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the conductor. It can be represented in the following diagram. Okay, we know that R directly proportional to L by A, R is equal to rho into L by A, where rho is the proportionality constant. That is, rho is the specific resistance or resistivity coming to the conductance. Conductance is equal to 1 by resistance. That is, conductance is inverse of the resistance. Where resistance opposes the flow of electrons, the conductance allows the flow of electrons. So, C can be rewritten as C is equal to 1 by R rho into L by A. That is, C is equal to 1 by rho into A by L. Here, K is equal to the proportionality constant 1 by rho that is k is the specific conductance or conductivity so c is equal to k into a by l coming to the units of resistance specific resistance conductance and specific conductance units of resistance are ohms unit of units of specific resistance are ohm into centimeter Unit of conductance is uh, 1 by resistance that is 1 by ohm that is semen. Unit of specific conductance that is 1 by specific resistance that is 1 by ohm into centimeter that is equal to semen into centimeter inverse. Now that we know about conductance, specific conductance, resistance and specific resistance, uh, let's study about equivalent conductance. Equivalent conductance can be defined as the conductance of an electrolyte solution containing 1 gram equivalent of electrolyte. It is represented by the symbol lambda. The relation between the equivalent conductance and the specific conductance is given by lambda is equal to K into V where lambda is the equivalent conductance K is the specific conductance and V is the volume of the electrolyte solution containing 1 gram equivalent weight of the electrolyte where V is equal to 1000 by N that is 1000 by normality of the solution that implies lambda is equal to specific conductance into 1000 by N. The units of equivalent conductance are ohm inverse centimeter square equivalent inverse or semen into centimeter square into equivalent inverse where ohm inverse is equal to semen now that we know about equivalent conductance it will be very easier to learn about molar conductance molar conductance can be defined as the conductance of electrolytic solution containing one gram mole of electrolyte it is represented by the symbol mu the relation between the specific conductance and the molar conductance is given by mu is equal to k into v where v is equal to 1000 by m which is the molarity of the solution so mu can be rewritten as mu is equal to k into 1000 by m the units of molar conductance are ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse or semen centimeter square into mole inverse in the next video we will be studying about ionic mobilities. 
that's it for this tutorial for all my videos please visit my youtube channel that is www.youtube.com slash vibhavroyce if you have any queries comments or suggestions please email me to vibhavroy at the rate of engineer.com thank you for watching